Uh, hey everybody, this is Sojprof here, and here we are again with the visual du jour. Here again, this one is a marvelous, wonderful, beautiful visualization of migration flows, both immigration and uh, emigration. So when you get to the website, and uh, I'll give you all the, the URLs and references uh, in the full blog post, when you get to the, the website, you can see first uh, a rough sense of a few st static data, so the world's population, the number of migrants, and you can also see the top migrant destination where people go when they decide to leave. And so, of course, no surprisingly, we have the USA and the Russian Federation at the top. And then you get to the top immigration countries, that is where people leave in the largest numbers. So, not surprisingly, Mexico, etc. So, as you scroll down the screen, you can see more uh, static data, so the top migration corridors, that is destination beginning point and end point, origin and destination, so from Mexico to the USA, Russian Federation, Ukraine, uh, etc., or vice versa, Ukraine, Russian Federation. So uh, what you have here, so is again more static data in the central part with all the sources, etc. The truly beautiful and amazing thing about this visual is when you can really locate the flows of uh, migration and, and in different directions. So on the left hand side, you have basically all the countries in the world listed with some data by their initials and out of there if you click on any one of those countries you will find uh, their immigration flows that is when people leave this country where do they go so let's pick an example and um, well let's go to for instance Mexico since this was one I mentioned as one of the major ones Mexico here and if you click on Mexico you can see instantly the massive immigration flows and of course you have not surprisingly a big chunk of that immigration that goes of course not surprisingly all the way down to the USA you can track that but you can track pretty much all the immigration flows and basically where do people go with again some numerical data here and you can uh, of course isolate them so you can see that big band uh, going to the United States or you can again say okay, well, one by one and you can singularly uh, isolate them so it's pretty nice and on the other hand of course you can also see the immigration flows those are on the right hand side that is who migrates to Mexico and you can see again the main destinations and those flows here with their the origin that is where the people come from and where do they end up and who ends up in Mexico so uh, if you want to look at the Cuban flows uh, there they are. So same deal, you can isolate them uh, pretty nicely. Of course, the United States being a major destination, you can look at the United States immigration in itself, and you see, of course, that big red band we know uh, is Mexico, but it's not exclusively that one, so you can click on, again, a variety of uh, uh, points of origin and people migrating uh, into the United States. And on the other hand, of course, you can also look at who emigrates out of the United States and where do they go. So, not surprisingly, you find the, the reverse flow, not as dramatic as in the case of uh, the, the United States, but you can see it and you can see that the, 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 the graph moves as you click on different uh, destinations or uh, points of origin. So. Here again, that's a wonderful visual. There's lots of countries, again, pretty much every country that you can think of is listed there with its own interactive data. It's a wonderful tool to get a sense of those migration flows. And of course, it's great if you have to teach migration. It's, and I, I can't think of a better visual than this one in terms of clarity of information, how you can put so much information in such a clear fashion in one uh, interactive. And of course, the interactive itself, uh, the interactive aspect itself is really so well done. It's beautiful, a beautiful visual, and I think can be very useful to pretty much anyone who teaches social sciences and not just um, sociologists. Again, pretty much anyone interested in social science factors and migration. So again, look on the website at globalsociology.com and on all the URLs and all the references will be there for you to find. So that was Sochprof and this was the visual du jour, people move in.